morning, ladies and gentlemen. In the run-up to the 2019 elections, it's India's most powerful Catholic versus the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Why has the church sounded a war cry against the BJP? We'll tell you all that in just a bit from now. But first up, the top headlines this Monday evening. India's most powerful Catholic fears threat to secularism takes anti-Modi stand. The church prays for a new government in 2019. Nationwide controversy erupts. Petrol and diesel prices touch a record high, but government fails to find a solution. Joint Times Now campaign forced the centre to slash the oil taxes. 15 days after the top court orders former UP chief ministers to vacate government bungalows, Netas pull off another stunt. Mayavati turns her residence into a Kanchi Ram memorial. Akhesh seeks two more years to vacate government bungalow. Times now accesses exclusive tapes that show how locals are in cahoots with terrorists in the valley. Videos raise questions on the centre's thinking behind Ramzan ceasefire. You're watching the News Hour at nine. Ladies and gentlemen, one of India's highest ranking Catholic has called upon all Christians to pray for the end of Modi rule in India by 2019. Just imagine what the reaction would have been had a Hindu seer called for Hindus to ensure that defeat of Congress should take place in 2019 because it is a party that appeases Muslims. On the case tonight, and that's what I'm building as my case tonight, I'm asking the question, why the church is not being pulled up? Remember the mid midnight crackdown on Baba Ramdev in 2011, soon after openly backing Narendra Modi's campaign? The BJP was accused of introducing communal angles to poll campaigns after Gujarat Swami Narayan Temple backed the BJP in 2017. The Vishwa Hindu Dharma Sansad's endor endorsement of Modi as Prime Minister in 2013 was claimed as proof of BJP's communal affiliations. Not just this, the Jama Masjid Shahi Imam Bukhari in 2014 openly endorsed the UPA but was tagged as a call to isolate communal forces. So I'm asking you this simple question. If the Christians do it, if the Muslims do it, it's all in aid of secularism. But if the Hindus do it, it's all about communalism. And that leads me to my legitimate question, ladies and gentlemen. Is the church's call against Prime Minister Narendra Modi a secular call? That's the debate that's coming up in just a bit from now. But first a look at this report that our reporters have made tonight. Baba Ramdev is vilified for any statement that is remotely political. This priest from Gujarat was attacked day before polls as he backed BJP ahead of elections. Not to mention the backlash on social media to such calls. But what's surprising tonight is one of India's highest ranking Catholic seers call to end rule of Modi in India by 2019 has only met with stoic silence from the so-called secular league. Now, this is a letter that has been written by uh, the Archbishop of Delhi. He has said that we are witnessing a turbulent political atmosphere which poses a threat to the democratic principles enshrined in our constitution and the secular fabric of our nation. This is not the very first time during Gujarat elections also we saw such a similar letter being put out during Nagaland elections, during elections in Meghalaya as well. Uh, there were certain letters that were put out where, which categorically mentioned that there is a threat to Christianity. The statement has led to high voltage eruption with the BJP and several Hindu organizations accusing the Archbishop of peddling an openly communal agenda. Actually, he has only expressed his concern because what has been happening, what we have been witnessing for the last four years, ever since we know India has come into power, we had the cases of Garvapasi, then we had attacks on the churches in Delhi. This is a directly 
intervention by missionaries in domestic politics. PM Narendra Modi has always gone for an inclusive campaign of Sabka Saath and Sabka Vikas. It is unfair and unfortunate if any religious group is targeting government in the name of faith and religion. We pray for the country and we want a healthy country which is democratic, where both poor and the rich can live together and which is secular. Yeah, it is. I, I agree with him and uh, definitely today we can say that our democracy is in danger and in 2019 people are waiting to kick out this government. Saying the fact that the democracy is in danger, that means it is a sort of political thing that it, is, it indicts somewhere, it indicts towards the government also. This is not the first time the church has made such an open call to vote against a political party. From 2017 to 2019, the church has made its opposition against the Modi government very clear. We tried to reach out to the representatives of Archbishop and they are clearly saying that the letter is being misrepresented, that it should not be given a religious colour, that Archbishop's thoughts are being misread. But whatever he wants is for the people to have a peaceful and harmonic 2019 elections and let good governance take place and take shape in our country. And under no circumstances would the Archbishop Anil Koto uh, withdraw his letter. He says that it, he is well within his right as as an archbishop to issue a letter like this with video journalist Himanshu in New Delhi, Sasami Kapoor. You're watching the News Hour at 9. Debate number one on Times Now. Super Prime Time. Church versus Modi, that's the big debate on the news are tonight and joining me this evening, Dr. Sambit Patra, national spokesperson of the BJP, Rakesh Sinha, RSS ideologue, Samyo Rodriguez, journalist, joining me live from Bangalore, uh, Dr. John Dayal, human rights activist, also somebody who speaks for the church. A former president of the All India Catholic Union. All right. Ghansham Tiwari, national spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party, Ashutosh Mishra, senior journalist, Asif Bhamla, political analyst, and Waris Pathan, MLA and spokesperson of the AIMIM, will join us in just a bit after breaking his rosa. But tonight, on the standpoint, we have Dr. John Dayal taking on Dr. Sambit Patra. Dr. John Dayal, have you seen this letter? This letter dated 8th of May which is written by the Archbishop of Delhi, Anil Koto, who says, We are witnessing a turbulent political atmosphere which poses a threat to the democratic principles enshrined in our constitution and the secular fabric of our nation. It is a hallowed practice to pray for our country and its political leaders all the time, but all the more so when we approach the general elections. As we look forward to the 2019 elections when we will have a new government, let us begin a prayer campaign for our country from May 13, 2018, which marks the anniversary of the apparition of the Blessed Mother at Fatima, consecrating ourselves uh, and our nation to the Immaculate Heart. And he's called for fast every Friday. Why bring in religion and fasting and the, the church into politics, Mr. John there? Most Catholics fast every Friday. My wife does that every Friday. But have you seen the tone of the letter. Every day in every Catholic church, when the mass is said, we pray for the nation, we pray for the president of India, and note, we pray, pray for the prime minister of India. We are honor bound and duty bound to pray for the rulers of our country and for our country. It is a hallowed tradition. Nowhere does this letter say, unlike this one, which says, vote for Mr. Modi and it is by the priests of the Akshardham temple. This letter, and we issue it all the time for the last 50 years, where we say, please carry on such a campaign, purification, prayer, and are you denying that there is turbulence? Are you denying that Dalits have been beaten to death? Are you denying that the Muslims have been lynched? Are you denying all the other turbulence that we have seen? This is a prayer for peace towards the elections, for peace during the elections and for a good government after the elections. You've forgotten the fact that they're talking about a new government. 
a new precisely. government. That's a so you want a every... change in government? No, it doesn't say that. Why are you saying change? What do you call? What do you call every a new government? There is a continuity in government, don't you know? And what Election... do you mean by threat to secular fabric of our nation? What does all this rash of lynchings, this rash of... So you want violence. this government to go and a new government to come? Is that what the church has to the preach? The BJP has been in power for almost 25, 30 years in various states. All right, time so, up. Let me get in Dr. Sambit Patra to respond. Dr. Sambit Patra, they say this is just a prayer. It's got nothing to do with politics. Do you actually believe that, Dr. Sambit Patra? Navika, as far as Christianity is concerned, we all in the panel respect Christianity, Christianity unequivocally. Of course, uh, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas is the tagline of the government. And let me remind my good friend, Mr. John Dayal, that two fathers who had been abducted by Taliban in Afghanistan, they were set free because of the vociferous action, because of the grounded action of the prime minister of this country. And of course, we had seen 46 Christian nurses who were freed from the IS-IS classes in 2015. So to see that the Bharati Janta Party government is in any way biased uh, to the Christian community or any community by that standard is absolutely wrongly wrong. But having said that, let me come to the core of the issue. These are individual propagandas. The religion should not be drawn. And the propagandas had started right from the beginning of 2014. Award Wapsi, then we had seen a series of false alleged church attacks in Delhi just before the church, uh, just before the Delhi election to the extent that uh, Barack Obama Obama, who had come to India, was uh, in fact almost uh, instigated to speak about that. Then we had seen NGOs being drawn into. I mean, there are a number of NGOs who are into number of, uh, I would say, uh, under the carpet activities. So when their funds are drawn out because of the righteous action of the government, there are many individuals, not the religion, many individuals in various religions who are disturbed. John there, I firmly believe, is one of them. He also, I, I think, he also caters to these kind of under the carpet activities. Time up. So, of course, they're disturbed. And that's time the up, why time up, time up, time up. I'm opening up, I'm opening up the debate. I'm opening up the debate. I need a point of personal <laughs> rebuttal to what he's saying. What does he mean, I'm a part of things? You are the government. Arrest me if I'm a part oh, no, no, of any under carpet, yeah, under. Under no, no, illegal you went activity. To US Don't you dare say that, Mr. John on TV. Dayal, am I You wrong? incite people you went to, to violence US against people like you. Don't say that. Don't even say US that in front. You are the representative of the ruling party. You have. You, you must went to exercise US, a certain gravitas, but I don't have to. I'm not a No, no, you should, you should you come out on this tonight. Namika, please force our that. great friend John Dayal. Please request him to at least come out with the truth as to what he did and what he spoke in 2013 I in the US Parliamentary Mr. Committee. Modi what was in it public there? every he day, went and five times against a day, India. and will continue to do so till he reforms and, and says that is going to protect every people. So you will order the so church. You so you will order the church to US? take. So Who you will order, order the church. Who am I to order? The church? Okay, your archbishop will order the church so that it unleashes a campaign, and that's exactly what the letter but says. The letter says. The letter says. This one, let us begin a Mr. prayer Modi. campaign. Let us begin a prayer campaign. Don't you see the difference no. between this letter and this? Nadika, this calls Nadika, for a vote for Mr. Mr. Modi. So this is secular. This is secular for, for you. So, for you. <coughs> this is secular for it you. It is the most secular Nadika, document you can do Nadika, for Nadika, peace during the country's election process. Yes, Mr. Dayal, Mr. Dayal, you are factually wrong. You are misguiding the viewers of Times now. You are misguiding. I have Navika. Just listen. You know that in in Mizoram, who is this? In Mizoram, church is doing Actually. politics, and there is a Mizoram People's Forum. That is a ch church organization, and every political party has to sign MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, before the election. There are 52 points. Did the they BJP sign that 52 one? 52 points. If they Did want the to BJP campaign, sign election, that one? if they want to campaign, Did the BJP sign that? Is trying to trying to extend the Mizoram model to all over the country. John, there is so why is beef allowed where in Mizoram and in Goa? You answer that, sir. King and the church. Mr. Rakesh, you know, you answer. Why does the BJP it? modify Mr. its car policy in the Northeast and in Goa? Shame on you. The duality of your policy. Mr. Dayal, give me 30 seconds. Don't get excited. Why not? Don't get excited. Why not get excited? 
You are giving beef in Mizoram, but not in Delhi. In 2015-16, getting 17,773 crore rupees. Who in got it? Sahar has got that money. Due How do we know? Foreign Give us the segregated data. Has been imposed. With Give us the segregated data. Abiding law. How the, many the amount ministers and NGOs got that money? Rupees. How this many ministers and NGOs across the country? Which were coming mostly to the NGO related to you church. You are lying to Now your they are teeth. excited. They are perturbed because they are not getting the to do anarchy. They are running the conversion enterprises in India. And conversion is illegal in India. Navika. Don't you know? Conversion is illegal in India. There's a and provision in the constitution. Freedom of that press. Haven't you in the RSS heard of it? Freedom of press. How many harvests? Any How many Hindus are okay, converted? Okay, gentlemen, the let's not heckle each other. The name of the country is rural development and I'm the job is the conversion. The that okay, is the that what? church is doing in India. I am not against the Far Indian Christians. I am against the Indian missionaries. There are there are 95 Protestant missionaries the, and 12 Roman Catholic missionaries. missionaries. All, all, all 95 of missionaries, and 12 which missionaries are, are doing the same job. Christians. They are getting money practice. from outside. Say it now. I, I well, let, let me come back now. to the main issue. Mr. Mr. Kanchan Tiwari, let's come back to the main issue. Whether you are against missionaries or not is not the point here. Kanchan Tiwari, the point here is if Baba Ramdev supports if Baba Ramdev supports Narendra Modi, then that's a communal call and there should be an attack on him in the Ramlila Medan and he should be arrested. That's something that was demonstrated in 2011. Well, but if the church does it, that's fine. That's secular. Baba Ramdev supports Akhilesh Yadav. Baba Ramdev supports Lalu Prasad Yadav. You could have seen the pictures from uh, Lalu Prasad Yadav's family wedding. So it's not about Baba Ramdev. Baba Ramdev's crusade was against corruption and whatever happened on that night was unfortunate, should not never have happened. As far as what the church is saying, uh, Times of India published an article on March 21 saying that the, the Mumbai Archbishop uh, uh, Oswald Cardinal Gracias met the Prime Minister and he apprised him about the community's anxiety over sporadic attacks on against the minority institutions and personnel in the country. So this was the Archbishop meeting the Prime Minister and telling him in person and the Prime Minister said, I am the Prime Minister for all Indians and I will take personal interest in ensuring that this does not happen. If the Prime Minister is, is ready to face this criticism and respond at it, it with a constructive manner rather than attacking the church, why should spokespersons of BJP and RSS have problem? We have to face the real no, question that are we facing, I'm, I'm are, are we facing you, turbulent, is, turbulent is political times? Is this letter times? written by the Archbishop of Delhi there something no that you condone? Can you give me why don't you take a position on this one? This, this, why don't you take this, a position this, on this letter by the Archbishop of Delhi. This letter after is the, irrelevant, the irrelevant from a political no discourse point of view. No we, have been, we, we have no taken a position on this letter process. even before. We said process. that process. India actually faces a political uh, uh, turbulence because of BJP not performing in government, not performing to their own mantra of Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas. Look at what is happening with, uh, uh, with Dalits across so the country. So you are saying this letter is fine? You take Dalit leadership. You are saying this letter no, is fine? A, I, we believe that, that religion should not interfere with but politics, isn't this governance, democracy. We, we, isn't this interference that, that letter speaks a, a for prayer that, that, campaign? A prayer can be a campaign? So so prayer, now prayer, can, a prayer can be a prayer, campaign? Prayer can be a campaign. Praying for the nation is, can be a campaign. Every one of us prays for the nation. Prays for the nation to change the government? It's not about changing the government. To elect a good government. That's what it says. How do you pray for the nation? Expect that the nation will elect a good government. New government. The Prime Minister says... It doesn't the say good will, government. By the way, it says new government. Now, because it, in 2019, India will elect a new government. BJP, BJP will be thrown away. And Samit Patra would be a very powerful spokesperson of the new opposition. We are all clear on that. But and uh, and the, the story has started from, Navika, from uh, okay. Let's get the other point of view. You think you're the conscience keepers the of all issue. Christians in this country? I also have Savio, Savio Rodriguez on the show. Savio Rodriguez, do you think the church? has a right to direct all Christians on what to do, how to pray, and whether they should vote for Narendra Modi or not, Savio Rodriguez? I have three questions to the letter that the Archbishop Kuto has, has made public. The first question is, could he please define what is the turbulent atmosphere that this country is going through? Number two, could he please define in what way has the democratic principles of this country been violated? And number three, can all the panelists that are, say, uh, that are on the panel today 
please define clearly what the secular mean because secular is the most prostituted word in this country and people don't know the real meaning of it so ask mr john dayal that no, 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 mr no, no, no. john dayal is is uh, somebody who actually supports the archbishop of delhi so respond to him he is a christian he doesn't think there is any democracy you you think he is a muslim when, when john when dayal he was responding the question to patra of atro atrocities to dalits and minorities can he also raise the question to the atro atrocities happening to the hindus Dalit are they not Ma, people of if india you, if you were to watch what times now you would see me raising talking about questions about the atrocities to all indians including hindus in kashmir including atrocities john they are goes to the us paints the country minute, like it's full him. of of atrocities to christians and muslims where is that happening i travel bread and neck of I think this country we live in different countries where are people being being killed we, we live in are different hindus countries are not being killed are muslims also not being lynched these are grave sins that are happening but they do not define the secular nature of this country that is where this why letter is wrong not, why does lynching not define define a, a dent in our secular nature and and how dare you use this kind of word secular is prostituted in this country it demonstrates your misogynist attitude and it does de uh, demonstrate that you do not believe in the tenet of a constitution called secular these two terms do not please go together define secular. and please you must regret your words uh, of using this it could be good english please but but this is this utter nonsense to put it together and present it on a national channel Secular and is not must, the acceptance of all religions. La la land. If you do not understand Secular that people are getting lazy in this country, on, on the context governments. of propaganda and cow on love jihad and cow politics, people are getting killed. And people every one of us are getting that. lynched. That's the fact. That the But Hindus are also getting killed. That. But they say we that, have to get it as Indians, is, is not on the basis of religion. The and Please get the facts correct. Even even the BJP spokespersons will accept that this is a challenge that we as a country face. The Prime Minister has addressed this challenge, so don't brush it aside. If the Prime Minister is ready to accept this criticism, Prime Minister is ready to to keep speak up about lynching. We then you have cannot to look put, put at ourselves as the Prime Minister. Doctor Sambit Patra wants to come in. Doctor Sambit Patra. Doctor Sambit Patra wants to make a point. Yes, Doctor Sambit Patra. Go down and walk. the streets of india a hindu See, or muslim or christian has been drawn in over here let they me let me speak together please. it is you allow politicians me, me, that are actually dividing the nation please, sir, allow and the religious bodies with their views the bhartiya janta party has been drawn in the constitution you are not the spokesperson of bjp navika as far as the opposition parties are concerned certain points have to be made over here ghanshyam tiwari why are you so anti hindu Why do you have to abuse Hindus day in and day out? Listen to others also, please. Thank you. See, I, I'll tell you. As far as this secularism is concerned, well, yes, this is a very important word in the constitution of this country. Well, Baba Sahib Ambedkar firmly believed that uh, the constitution of India. already had the seeped in value of secularism indians were inherently secular and that's the reason as to why the preamble never had the word secularism it was an afterthought by mrs indira gandhi and that's the day where after secularism of convenience began in indian polity so you, you remember only you have, about you have a god right to drop the word when the you county adirai shah the word was if you if you do not believe in the, the, the word secular in the previous of the constitution against the hindus you know please please you have a god Against Hindus, call the parliament and draw the word. He always tried to kill the caste savers. This is a false argument. He would, he would cherish when his leader says that you I have only killed sixteen Hindus. I should have killed sixty Hindus. So Maulana Ghanshyam will always be happy about that. But the moment you start to speak about real secularism, then Maulana Ghanshyam will just go berserk. No, why does Maulana Samit Patra? Why does Maulana Samit Patra? He closes his eyes. You have a bigoted mindset. You will call everybody names. Why does Maulana Ghanshyam will never say that? 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 Why does
replay of what happened on the eve of the 2014 elections. Is this secularism? Is this something that is endorsed by all those who today are wearing badges of secularism <laughs> on their chests? Listen in to Shahi Imam Bukhari and listen in to the endorsement that he gets from a very senior leader who's the toast of the Congress party these days. Listen in to this. My Aaj, Lok Sabha Intekhabat, 2014 Lalu Prasad Yadav says it's the most patriotic thing to say. This is not this is not communal, Mr. Varis Pathan. This is absolutely secular. <clears throat> well, Navika, we are talking about secularism. So let me tell you, the entire nation wants a secular front to come up and form the government nice. in 2019. And it has started from Karnataka, where the Congress is supporting the JDS and they are forming the government as a secular third front. Now, because the people of the nation are totally fed up with the NDA government, they were talking in 2014, prior to 2014, that Sabaka Saad, Sabka Vikas, but they could not do anything. Every day, Muslims, Dalits have been lynched in the name the of cow. Just the day before yesterday, the in Madhya Pradesh, when the BJP government is there, the two Muslim boys so the were lynched in the name of cow. One of them died and the JDS in the hospital. Was pointing fingers where is Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas? Democracy is under threat. And as soon as they the are not ready to follow the constitution, they are not following the rule of law. So this, Mr. Patra, this secularism of Mr. convenience Patra, is not going to help. My point. I know you won't like the points which I make because I am showing no, the mirror to the nation. Not let the Varis nation Patan, know where have your government you failed. So let a third front come. Let a secular front be formed. Who talks about development? For you, who talks about providing employment? Who does not talk? Who provides employment? Not like Mr. Modi, that Kala Dhan Wapas lying here, but the joint money from the country is going on. Gentlemen, let's not talk over each other. Gentlemen, let's not talk over each other. Mr. Varis Pathan, Mr. Varis Pathan, may I ask you, Mr. Varis Pathan, may I ask you, how is Janta Dal secular, how is Janta Dal secular, which was being called the B team of the BJP, which was being called Janta Dal Sangh Parivar, Suddenly become Janta such a secular Sangh. party. Janta Dal Sangh, they were calling it. No, no, why, why not? The people of Karnataka have voted them. They have come there. Now the Kumara Swami will be taking oath oh. as the CM. Congress is backing because we so have been saying since the beginning any, that the Congress does not have the guts to defeat the, the BJP. So, so the Mr. Congress has to so support so the regional Baris parties. Patan, parties Patan, and it is the should, will of the regional party the in Karnataka. You this is the start of the beginning. And this is the end of the NDA government's rule. Dictatorship rule in our country. Is there a law that has been passed? In our country, we will be following the constitution. We have to Since save the democracy at any cost. So why not form a government? Court. Why not come together, form a secular government? What is the harm? Mr. Varis Patan, when the since BJP 1951, totally failed, has the Supreme you, Court Nabika, banned in under 2019, the people's the representation act? They will have to take the Use same manifesto which was the same for voting votes and or not. The manifesto in 2019 because they have not committed a single promise to fulfill. They have not fulfilled a single promise which they have done committed in 2014 naked. election. Now the people of because the country are asking him, Mr. Modi, when will two crore people get the employment, Mr. Sambit Patra? What will happen to the democracy? You are not following the rule of law. Constitution is in trouble every day. In the name of cow, you are lynching innocent people. Yesterday in Madhya Pradesh, when your government is there, what happened? Why don't you criticize that? Moral policing is the answer of the day. Every now and then, moral policing, the RSS and the Bajrang are taking law into their own hands, killing innocent Muslim youths and Dalit youths. So is this the government Navika, who No. The nation if, uh, wants a secular the government. the of the most and secular Mr. party of the country is over, laugh, can I come in smile, please? Because this is the last year which you will be smiling. Please allow After me 15 minutes. You will be to ask 15 minutes. Okay. No, no, okay. 15 seconds. Ah, ah, 15 15 minute 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 minute
all those people who are talking about democracy i have a single question to them when does uh, where, where, where does their care for democracy go when democracy is murdered in bengal we have seen only recently in the panchayati raj elections in west bengal as to how 22 people lost their valuable life six dalits were butchered on the street one of the election where officers the was pulled by the tmc karyakarta from the group and, and he was killed on the, the he was killed on the, the railway track for, so when all these things are happening the, it is not the murder of democracy it is not murder of democracy how selective are these people only today's newspaper who are complete with the photograph of a woman who has what voted for some other party but not the TMC. She has a garland of shoes around her neck and she is made to sit and stand holding her ears in front of the TMC office for the whole day 300 times. Is this democracy in Bengal? And these people want Mamata energy as a leader? I am so sorry. BJP and TMC? Now we have a very important question which I want to ask. All right, all right, all right. Gentlemen, we have some breaking news coming in. The head of the series Syrian church has spoken. The head of the Syrian church in Kerala has spoken. Let's listen in to what he has to say. Split in the church over the anti-Modi stand. The Syrian church does not endorse the view taken by the archbishops uh, of Delhi's position. Let's listen in to him. a very senior member of uh, the Orthodox Church of India, Syrian Orthodox Church of India. Uh, you know, what would you feel? Is it fine with uh, the church getting on to and asking the laity to, to pray for something which is extremely political, sir, sir, you know? Sir, it should keep her away from politics. And uh, it should be left to the, 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 the laity, the people. They will decide who should rule. Hmm, hmm. So you... And, um, Church, you know, there are um, all sorts of people, you know, from different political groups. And if the church is going to take a stand against one particular thing, it will create problems in the ch within the church. So the church will keep away from uh, all such things, and it should be left to the native to decide, people to decide, the whole thing to decide, who should uh, uh, rule the country. Yeah. That's very clear, very clear, Savio, Savio Rodriguez and Mr. John Dayal. It's very clear. Archbishops and priests have no business to get into politics. That's as clear as it can get. But that is what I'm trying to say. Unlike the Swaminarayan Pandey, I'm, I'm completely in agreement with what the Syrian say, vote for uh, leader or vote for of the Syrian so both Catholic Church. Are all right. Is the contradiction between the two bishops? You're saying this is not political. This Savio, is totally not Savio, political. Savio Rodriguez, do, have you read this letter? And Savio Rodriguez, do you think this letter leaves anything to the imagination? Is this or is this not a political direction that is being given? I'm just I'm asking the Archbishop, Mr. Kuto, to please define turbulent atmosphere. Today, Navika, let me give you some facts. Every single day, there are WhatsApp messages going around. Yes, I have read the letter. WhatsApp messages going around talking about how bad the situation in the country is for Christians and other minorities. And that is not the truth. And I am a minority in this country. My children lead a good life. I have traveled. To every My home, who are Christians, so, of to every person, so you who will, are so you will strangle his voice. So you will, you will strangle By his God voice. He says he's a minority. Two years. He says he's a minority. Why are you drowning his voice? Let him say. I'll I come am, back to you. I am not drowning his voice. I'm telling you, I have travelled to every house of every person, Muslims and Dalits, who were lynched. By Gaurakshaks in the name of protecting Mother Cow in the last two years. That, that never is happened. not the entire country. That is not the entire no, minority. It is there are incidents, and I agree. It is but it's happening across all the religions. Hindus are also being killed. Of course. And see, look at the large facts. numbers. In Don't tell the rest of the country, Mr. Dayal, that the Christians are under threat. Don't tell the rest of the world. In your eloquent speeches, 
that the minorities and the Christians but I cannot in lie. are not I am sold to because speak the that truth. is wrong. I am that sold. Is wrong. I don't. I am not afraid of government. I am sold to tell the truth as I see it. But he is also telling the yes, truth as he sees as it. He sees yes, it. yes, things are wrong and, in this country. And he is, Mr. Tiwari, but that is, is a collective problem that we have to address it. as a nation. And Mr. But Dr. Patra, okay, as he sees it. Okay, Ashutosh Mishra. Ashutosh Mishra. It is all standing together as a nation. Is on May 6th, St. Stephen's College in Delhi. On the chapel door, it was written, Mandir Yahi Banega. And on a. Um, on the cross. On the cross. Has Mr. It Dayan written, ever oh, spoken go to hell. Navika no, about the killings the of the Hindus? The Archbishop in Delhi is a scared man. It's a letter from a man who is scared about himself. You know something? You should Every listen to the Christmas. cry of hell. That's, Every... that's the difference between Kerala and Delhi. That's why he's seeing the turbulence okay. and the gentleman there. So people in Kerala, people in Kerala are uh, far removed from the reality, and people this in is the, he is seeing what is happening in front of so, and that is so I'm, you know, I'm and, asking you, and, 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 I'm asking and, you, Mr. Asif Bamla, Mr. Asif Bamla, when, Delhi, when, Christmas when in 2013, the minority has when to in be 2013 the, the principal of uh, Saint Xavier's College says that all students of St. Xavier's College should actually vote for the UPA. And Mr. Shashi Tharoor on Twitter endorses that. That's secular? Mr. Asif Bhamla? That's secular? If the BJP would uh, have done that, have been, you, would have, you would have run and, and cried hordes across the country, there would have been protests. But, but, why do you but if to, Shashi Tharoor would, would have done, done it, that's BJP fine. Is not secular. Is it, is it a, an admission by Mr. Patra or Navika, someone that BJP is not been, secular? Why do we always from the presume that the BJP is not secular? I, I expect a fair time. But maybe because it isn't. Navika, I expect a fair time uh, first actually. Looking BJP at the current situation, what I'd like to say is appeasement for any religion should certainly not be welcome. And certainly mobilizing votes on the basis of religious grounds is certainly not welcome. But what I'd like to say is, what wrong has the church said? If it is asked to pray, it is not confronted or said or spoken against any leader or any political party. So why is the current dispension so excited? Or is it a move or a move to counter, no, no, uh, mobilize the prayer. majority community? I do not understand are, where it actually goes from. He of has the made a simple leader. statement in fact, that everybody is appealing against the Modi. Pray. You know, there is a term in Hindi, Mahal. He is creating anti-government anti climate. Is right he is sending the message individual. to the world that there is a majority what, rule and minority are under threat. You know and the Parsi and, and Jews are the, are, 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 are the real minority. No Parsi, no really Jew ever, ever had complained. Ever, ever had complained. No Parsi, no Jew ever ever complained that they are being what threatened by the Indian democracy. This in the Archbishop, who is the custodian this is, this is the of the church, that the Archbishop appointed by Vatican to say is claiming Indian democracy is trying to claim the government on behalf of Vatican. Because any government which comes to power, even if it's BJP, comes to power, even if so all you the know, Archbishop is not accountable to the Indian people. He is accountable to the church. He is accountable to the, to the Vatican. So why I is the a, BJP I, trying to civilize answer, the situation? Can we answer the man who is appointed by Vatican? The, the man who is appointed by a Pope? How can he be he be accountable to the Indian people, Indian democracy, Indian secularism? You have to answer this question. He he is representing Pope and Vatican, be to you now. and we know that nexus between Sonia Gandhi and the you. Vatican. My when God. Pope visited India, we all know how Rajiv Gandhi and Sonia let, Gandhi had given the warm welcome. No, 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 no. Mr. Rakesh Sinha, Mr. Rakesh Sinha, now you are calling for a connection between Sonia Gandhi and the Pope and therefore the Archbishop? That, that, that's a facile argument. That's a facile argument, Mr. Rakesh Sinha. You are taking it to an absurd limit. You are taking it to an absurd limit, Mr. Rakesh Sinha. Now he follows God say, who killed Gandhi. The, that the is the only government he can fall. The new government could be the BJP you know, government. A, and that's exactly know, what he meant to say. Can no, I, no, can no, I no, please come in over here? Because I'm going to raise the number of people who have the I want to, I want to pick up, before I come to you, Dr. Shambit Padna, I want to pick up the fact check. What, what do facts really tell us? Let's take a look at the fact check, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the Gujarat elections of 2017. The Archbishop Thomas Makwan writes an open letter, claimed secular democratic fabric again is at stake. 
that was in 2017, claims India needs to be saved from nationalist forces. Is there a pattern to these kind of letters written by the church? Nagaland elections of 2018. Naga Baptist Church issues a poll manifesto, asserts vote own religion only diktat. Claims difficult to separate church and the state. This was in Nagaland. And then Delhi Archbishop now has written. So is there a pattern, Dr. Sambit Patra, that you're seeing? Right from 2017, 2018 and now call for the 2019 elections by the Archbishop of Delhi. And why is explaining to you? You could also tell your viewers. See, without draw, let, let me let me begin by a caveat, and the caveat is I don't yeah, want no, to draw any no, religion no, no. into it. Of course, I would draw individual propagandas into it. And as far as your question, that is there a sense of conspiracy from the 2014 after Mr. Modi became the prime minister? Well, yes, there is one. Remember the award Vapsi gang was there. Remember the Tukre Tukre gang. Remember what happened in Gujarat. Remember the uh, Congress what Analytica. What was it called? Congress Analytica or some of Cambridge course Analytica? We have not the whole thing. So of course we have not don't forgotten. shout, please. But you've forgotten it. No, we have not forgotten. Read our books Sir. on those. Uh, so, you so naturally, there is a concerted effort by Kansas these opposition in who are also. in fact in existential crisis to see to it that this to see to it that they all come together and give a fight to Mr. Narendra Modi, which is not going to happen. Okay, Secondly, so Mr. John Dayal just now right, gave himself up. That a man Mr. John Dayal said that he has been, has been traveling through length and breadth of the country and visiting there, every the Dalit zone. No, why, Mr. Mr. John Dayal? Is there a design that you are visiting every Dalit zone? No, why do you? You want to visit every Dalit home, Mr. John Dayal? Is there a design to it? Is there a design to it? Maulana Ghanshyam, Maulana Ghanshyam, you don't preach me secularism. You are the person, your leader said that I have only killed 16 Hindus. If I am given an opportunity, I would kill hundreds of Hindus. So for God's sake, Maulana Ghanshyam, you don't preach me secularism. Maulana Ghanshyam, you are the one who said, you are the one, your party is the one. Ajahn Khan said that only Muslims fought in Kargil. The Hindus had nothing to contribute in Kargil. So you don't teach a secularism over here, Maulana Ghansham. Maulana Ghansham, don't shout over here. Your party leader said that Hindus did not contribute to the Kargil war. It was only the Muslims who have fought in the Kargil. Your party leader said that I have killed only 16 Hindus. If given opportunity, I would kill 60 Hindus. Or more than that, Maulana Ghansham, you have always Okay, gentlemen, do you think anybody can hear either of you? You are the one. You <coughs> can I complete? But it is a good thing. I want to argue you and, and let me, Mr. gentlemen, let me go back to Mr. Varis Pathan. Mr. Varis Pathan suddenly, suddenly has had a shot because he was supporting the JDS in Karnataka. So, Mr. Varis Pathan, may I ask you, the Supreme Court, and you're a lawyer as well, Mr. Varis Pathan, the Supreme Court has banned asking for votes in the name of religion or caste under the Representation of People's Act 1951. Do you think the Archbishop's letter that has been written, the letter that we are talking about, violates this judgment of the Supreme what Court, Mr. Varis yes, Pathan? As much well, as this one out. does. Asking for votes for Mr. Modi. Well, Is your name Mr. Varis Pathan? No, no. Question. but what I want to paper. in the Gujarat election? What Modi did in the Gujarat election? I am a bigger Hindu. What Rahul Gandhi said? I am a Janavdari Hindu. So what that is not religion politics? That that time the people represented act did not come into play. Modi went to 25 temples playing majority appeasement politics. Rahul Gandhi went to the other temples. So both of them were Before doing the religion yeah. politics. Yeah. Even that time, they were playing appeasement politics. And all the majority the Rahul Gandhi was Mr. trying to Asaudi play appeasement Oveshi politics for the minority. Mr. But Asaudi both of Oveshi. them have not done anything you for the betterment of the minority in the country. They talk Muslims about come together. The minority what could they do? Remember, only a few days ago, see, the only Muslim a few days ago, has considerably Mr. Gone down Varis Patan, only so a few days ago, Mr. Ovesi had Supreme come out and said that we all when want to stand for the Hindu, Indians. When he Gandhi was giving legal aid to the Hindu, ISIS supporters and more so, he had said that the 14% Muslims of this country, no, 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 if they unite, the it would be a formidable force which no one can defeat. So of course, you are the ones who have always tried to, you are the ones who have always tried to play down secularism. 
on we peace, have all secularism over here. We have all criticized the terrorism and terrorism activity in the country. So don't mislead the nation. ISIS, you are giving legal aid to ISIS supporters. How have you already misled the nation? How have you criticized in terrorism when you are giving legal aid to the ISIS supporters? In the you are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. You are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. You are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. You are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. You are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. You are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. You are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. You are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. You are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. You are the ones who have always spoken for the Rohingyans. So I won't question fast. Sir, does the fact that the BJP is ruling the country suddenly threaten the secular fabric of the country? Atal Bihari Bajpai was BJP, he ruled the country. Mr. Modi is not Mr. Bajpai. We are threatened now. I told you, I have crisscrossed this country. I have found the shadow of fear. If the Archbishop the of the Church in Delhi actually gets into the po political arena, isn't that threatening the secular fabric of this country? The Archbishop of Delhi is not in the political for, for thing. We pray for the country every day. He prays for a new government. Every election is to elect a new government. But he says the secular fabric of the country is under danger. That's a fact. Mr. John Dayal, do you think this church and the state should stay separate? As far as possible, including the Hindu church, but is including this, the Sikh church. Is this the church, abolish is this the church getting into the statecraft? This is the church, the Hindu church, getting into religion. When the Sankaracharyas and other priests call for a vote for Mr. Modi. Are you disappointed that BJP is making inroads in states like Nagaland, Meghalaya, where there is a, 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 where there is a Christian population? Is that why you are suddenly getting desperate? A section of the Catholics in Goa voted for Mr. Modi. So be it. We are not choosing between parties. We are choosing for people who believe in humanity, who do not discriminate on the basis of religion, the, who do the not Hindu give seer, beef in Nagaland if the and kill seers, people in Delhi. If the Hindu seers say, back Modi, then you see a communal agenda. But if, if the church archbishop says, vote for a new government, you find that completely acceptable. Isn't but, that hypocrisy? No, 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 you are being bad grammar. Because the Hindus back Modi, the Christians are not opposing Modi or backing Mr. Mullah, I'm saying we have left it open. Vote for who you will. So against Modi, Dayal, against Modi. As for John Dayal, I will vote against Mr. Modi. Alone, even my wife the doesn't church? support me. The church? The church is every individual. According to the Second Vatican, I am the church. Well, well, the questions the, are being raised by our viewers tonight. Our viewers are saying uh, Congress has demolished democracy time and again in the last six to seven Can decades. Uh, v. Radhakrishnan Ayer says that. A uh, church is pro Modi and BJP in states like Goa, Nagaland, and Mizoram, where the BJP has won election with its support. Uh, Vasudeva Kutumbakam and says this. And uh, v. Radhakrishnan Ayer also says, What does the church have to do with who should rule India? That's, isn't that the basic question, Mr. Asif Bamla? What does the church have to do? Who should rule India? But church is not just the Christian church. Church Mr. is Mr. John churches. Dayal, do you think <coughs> your name is Asif Bamla? Why not? Any it's a lovely name. Mm -hmm. John Dayal's name is Church Dayal because he said, I am the church. I am the church. So hence, that is what should call him Church Dayal. You are the church also. All yeah, of you are the can church. I, can I so I'll call you Church Dayal from tomorrow. I will call you Hakim Saab. <laughs> I will call you Hakim Saab. I mean, Bulaye na. Hakim Saab bulaye. Koi parab nahi hai. Can I, can I reply to Yes, Mr. Asif Bamla, the question was for you. You see, mobilizing of votes for religious uh, on religious grounds has been an age-old phenomena with the country. It's been practiced by the Congress. It's been practiced by the BJP. But I feel uh, this statement by the church has been trivialized a little too much by the media. It shouldn't have got that much of attention. Or rather, it is a oh, means yes? to counter oh. mobilize. Oh, yes? The majority is is something I feel by the by the current dispension, which I don't think is even required. Navika, and what Samit it is said, is responding what the to you. Church has said is, is, yes, is, is a very Samit simple Patra. thing. 
It it has it has it has not even said that you vote for a leader uh, Navika, to pray. Mr. Mr. Asif Bamla, just a, a few seconds. And the abandonment of the country okay, is the prerogative you. of the church, which is the okay. custodian okay, of okay. religion. You ha, got your okay. point, Doctor uh, Dr. Navi- Sambit Patra. Thirty seconds. Navika. Navika, you have missed a rapid fire question to my good friend John Dayal. Let me ask him quickly. Mr. John Dayal, when are you leaving for US to complain against the US government? One, two, three, four, reply. No, no, no. Use words carefully, Hakim Saab. When are you Use going to US? Very carefully. What you said, I can't. Apply. When are you going to US to complain about I India? Can't John Dayal, rapid fire nothing. question. No answer. Well, 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 gentlemen. Well, gentlemen, tonight, 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 tonight on the debate, I'm church versus Bodhi. The question is, how can so-called liberals encourage the church when it is using its agencies to mobilize voters along communal lines? Can so-called liberals stand in judgment of the Hindu right when it comes uh, uh, does nothing to condemn the church's communal mobilization and? Isn't it shockingly hypocritical that the secular lobby is not condemning the church's attempt to communalize politics? What do you think, viewers? Do you think the church has a say in deciding who the next prime minister of the country should be? What do you think? Tweet to us, write to us. We'll look forward to your comments. Thanking all my panelists tonight, joining me on the show, on the big debate, Church versus Modi, taking a short break. Anand Narsimhan with the news are at 10 up next. Don't go away.